change. McGraw Millhaven on KTRS. All right, let's check those markets. Scott Crothers and Stephen Nicholas. Scott had a better day. Had a little, little rebound on the day than we had on uh, Wednesday. Yes, we did. Had a little better day. Uh, in fact, it turned out a lot better than we were expecting early in the morning. Uh, the Dow was up 56 points. We closed at 20,664. Uh, technology and finance stocks led the rally. A uh, first-time job list claims came in at 232,000. Now, that was in line with expectations and showing continued strength in the labor market. The yield on the 10-year U.S. Treasury rose uh, to 2.23 percent. You know, the, this kind of same range that it's been in for quite some time now. All right. Um, IBM, let's talk about them. They're interesting in storied career. What's the latest? Right. IBM, uh, a pioneer of remote work, is calling all its remote employees back to, the, to offices or they will lose their job. Uh, the aim is to improve collaboration and accelerate the pace of work. IBM says its software is for anytime and anywhere, and the researchers often write about the benefits of remote work, but they've decided that, uh, at least for their employees, they want to bring them back to their offices now. Wow, that's really interesting. <laughs> wow, IB change, you know? yeah, IBM selling remote software so that businesses can work from anywhere, and they're bringing in all their people in from the cold. Yes, I guess they're just trying to turn around the, you know, you know, turn themselves around yeah. because they, you know, they've had the revenues falling and everything else. So. Yeah, interesting. Uh, all right, uh, what about Salesforce? Who are they? Uh, Salesforce that they're a web-based on-demand software for businesses. Uh, they reported earnings yesterday. Now their revenue jumped twenty-five percent to two point three nine billion dollars. Now they posted a loss of nine point two million dollars, mostly due to one-time events. Salesforce guided higher for the next quarter. So they're doing, doing well despite competition from big players. So. All right, there you go. And then uh, how do the markets look today? Well, today the Dow looks up about 30 points. Uh, right now in the futures, we hear from a few Federal Reserve officials today, and we will let you know what happens. So. All right, never a dull moment around here. Scott, thanks for checking in. Thanks for uh, reading the tea leaves, and we'll do it all again Monday morning. <laughs> Sounds perfect. Have a great weekend. You got it. Need your portfolio check. None better than that man right there. Scott Crothers with Stiefel Nichols right there on uh, Conway and Lindbergh. Stiefel Nichols' office. Six uh, 643. Big fight.